<laughs> While that was going on, Chuck Zawane, uh, journalist with the Guardian newspaper, uh, joined us at the table. Good afternoon, Chuck. And great to have you back feels from feels from the great right. country. <laughs> okay, so okay, I know how Nigeria is, you know, with all the news of coronavirus around the world. But you actually went to Germany and just got back. So, what's the mood really like? You know, I think uh, uh, first of all, it feels good to be back on this show. I've been away feels for, good to have back. for some time now, and um, but I remember when I came back, I did a post mm -hmm. on my personal Facebook page mm -hmm. where I said exactly what I observed. Okay. You know, traveling between Berlin in Germany to to Istanbul, mm -hmm. Turkey, then connecting to to Lagos, mm -hmm. and it was clear. And uh, a couple of online news platforms picked on that thing, mm -hmm. developed into a story. Because mm -hmm. we have this attitude of thinking that everything about Nigeria is wrong, which, is, which I don't just understand. Don't buy into, okay. And I remember the minister then saying, we are ready for coronavirus. I said, this is why you foolish man, all that, all that. But that trip actually made me understand that Nigeria was really prepared for this virus. And, and that's that why feels, we are where really we are. To know. Because I left, when I left Berlin, mm. At the Tega airport, nobody checked anybody for anything. Mm -hmm. People were just moving freely. You mm -hmm. move in and you move out. Nobody mm -hmm. checks if there's anything. You just move and they board your plane. And when we landed in Istanbul, at the airport, nobody checked anybody. People just walked in and walked out. Until the point we boarded the flight to Nigeria. In fact, we are still uh, in, 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 in the plane. And uh, <laughs> the hostesses, and, uh, they, they came with their forms. I said, from the Federal Ministry of uh, Health in Nigeria, you mm. cannot step into Nigeria without With declaring your health status. Mm. I thought it was just a joke because after they did that, people collected that because we had not even gone up to it. This is a journey of over six hours. So mm. it was about two hours into the into journey. The journey. And we uh -huh. Just feel it. So mm. you, by the time we came down, if you didn't pick the form and you didn't feel it, you are moved one side and they provided the form at the airport. Oh, yeah, you have to feel it. And after feeling so that's them, compulsory. Yes. Okay. You queue up mm -hmm. and they screen everybody one after, after the other. other. Good. Once they find that your temperature is funny, you are moved to one side and they call a doctor. <laughs> yes, that's what we wow. saw. In fact, yes. a particular lady uh, uh, who was also was in that flight happens to be a health officer from the Federal Ministry of Health or so. Uh, she spent like about 30 minutes talking to people about coronavirus for those who are getting to Nigeria, what you need to do, precautionary mm -hmm. measures, and mm -hmm. all she spoke for a long time talking to him. If you need consultancy, she gave free consultancy on that. Okay, and then even when you are passed to go to your immigration uh, clearing, in fact, those ladies insisted, Oga, open your hand, they will give you sanitizer. Even when you are fine, Oga, open your hand on a robot, then go and do your so at this particular uh, moment. I, 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 I feel so very good to be a Nigerian. No, that, that's the yes, reality. Yes. And and nice. For the first that's, time to know that the federal yes. government is not just yeah. talking, mm. you know, that's and we're actually doing to something to protect mm. the country from coronavirus. And talk